So I haven't made just a talking video in quite some time. I'm here at the Toyota dealer and uh, just to tell you how that's going. And routine uh, maintenance with an appointment takes two hours. That just seems outrageous to me. What's the point of having an appointment? But let's get to the topic of the video here is uh, the controlled uh, intentional demolition of the United States because uh, I mean after watching everything I mean I, at first I kind of chalked it up to stupidity or politics or you know you want to give any other explanation other than that we have traitors in the government uh, the deep state uh, it's not Biden he he's just a puppet that's pulling they're, they're pulling his strings and he just signs the executive orders that uh, destroy the United States and uh, man I tell you they are doing one hell of a job so let's just kind of go through uh, I'm sure you all these things you you know if you watch the channel but just put I'm just putting it all together you know what would you do uh, if you're the Manchurian candidate or the Manchurian administration is what I would prefer to call it uh, and you wanted to destroy the United States well the first thing would be open the border um, and bring in uh, terrorists and illegal drugs as much as possible uh, and of course uh, in all those illegal immigrants that's going to be uh, uh, something for the country to deal with for quite some time so that would be the first thing second thing of course would be to destroy the oil industry because the United States uh, is very dependent on oil so you know you take down the Keystone pipeline you uh, you limit uh, the ability to drill uh, you um, try to you know you you deplete the strategic oil reserve uh, all of these things so let's just you know check that check off that list so so now we uh, and of course the next thing is to isolate the United States from the rest of the world so what would you do there well, you would, uh, you would weaponize the, uh, the dollar as much as possible, and they've been doing that for years, but it, they put it on steroids when they went after Russia and, uh, and, and, and then stole, uh, stole the money from them. You know, that was, that was a huge wake-up call <laughs> to, to the entire world, especially, you know, because I think what we did was we stepped up the timeline. You know, China was planning all along to de-dollarize and, uh, and bury the United States. But when we did that, uh, China said, okay, you know, we've got no choice. We've got to pull the trigger on our long-term plan because they probably weren't going to do it until about 2025. I was, I was, I was predicting 2025 to 2030, but man, we, we, uh, we put that on steroids because uh, uh, China said, you know what, we've got to go now. And, uh, and it's proceeding rapidly. Good Lord. And we got Mexico going into the brinks, de-dollarizing Argentina, uh, Brazil, uh, let's see, uh, hell, uh, Turkey, uh, we've got, uh, I mean, Japan, the whole damn world. Uh, so, so we've isolated the United States uh, economically from the entire world. So that would be the next thing if you wanted to, uh, you know, completely destroy the United States. The next thing would be to devalue the currency as much as possible. And that's been a, that's been a plan all along. So we've been, you know, we printed this all of that money and, and you know back during the COVID virus uh, and uh, they gave it to, to the Americans and you know and everybody liked their free their free helicopters flying in and then of course you know let's uh, uh, you know put all the money you know, what 150 billion dollars into Ukraine uh, just keep printing 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 uh, you know and then of course uh, we've you know, put people in charge of banks that are either incompetent or intentionally, uh, you know, uh, put into uh, crazy investments like at SVB Bank. Uh, so that would be that be the next thing. You have to destroy the financial industry, and uh, and then of course, you know, what they're doing is they're printing money to to cover these banks, so all the rich cats, uh, while you and I suffer. The next thing would be to destroy the military. Well, I would put on. Uh, vaccine mandates for that uh, any any uh, soldiers that won't get the vaccine will kick them out and then of course I would institute uh, things that uh, a lot of Patriot uh, soldiers wouldn't want which would be uh, critical race theory I would start teaching that I would be getting rid of anybody that's a Patriot in the military that uh, 
you know, really wanted to serve their country and I would just keep the people that are either incompetent or uh, woke. Uh, if you want to call it woke, uh, you know, basically people that, that you know, in a, in a firefight probably are not going to do too well. Let's just put it that way. So that would be the next thing. Then, of course, I would engage the United States in conflicts around the world because there's no way that they can pay for it. We're just continuing to bankrupt the country. You know, we're already, what, I think it's 144 nations that we have uh, uh, bases in. How in the hell are you supposed to support that? So so right now we got a more or less a war going on in Syria. Uh, it looks like North Korea. That might turn into a shooting or a hot conflict there. Uh, you've got uh, Ukraine. And see, so what, what, what I would do if I was intentionally destroying the United States is I would send all of the U.S. weapons into these war zones and make sure that they all get used up they all get destroyed and that's what we're doing so we, I, all of our HIMARS are going to Ukraine there's really literally going to be very little ammo and equipment left to defend the United States you know in the end so we we've, we've given everything to all of you know of course we backed out gave, you know gave the Taliban 85 billion dollars in, in military equipment so you can see how we're depleting all of our military equipment and we can't rebuild this not not probably for the next 10 years so it's uh it's going to be uh so now we're defanged the next thing that you have to have is you have to destroy the uh, the navy and if we literally do go to war with china and send in our fleets to try to fight china over over taiwan which is complete lunacy um the the uh chinese have the capability to destroy our our uh our Navy those hypersonic missiles there's just no defense against them uh, and you're, you're you're trying to fight a land-based uh, you know entity that can resupply uh, quickly all right all of their their land-based defenses uh, to fight you know a, a naval armada that can't be resupplied because they're halfway around the world so you can see, I mean, even in a firefight, let's say at first that things went well for the United States, which I don't think they would, uh, as, as, the, as the war progressed, they would rapidly run out and we can't resupply them and then boom, you know, what are they going to do? And, and of course, China, China's been planning for that. So then once they've depleted the uh, munitions out of the U.S. Uh, the fleet, well, they, China, China has its, its own fleet. In fact, it's bigger than the United States. They'll chase that fleet across the ocean and destroy it all the way back to the United States. So there wouldn't be anything left of that. So now you've got the United States with no, no, uh, no army, no navy, no Marine Corps that has uh, any any weapons to speak of, and uh, and you've you've destroyed the United States financially. Uh, and then of course you know the next thing I would do is. Uh, well, with the terrorists coming in, I would start, uh, I would say, okay, now it's time to pull the trigger on all those terrorist organizations. I'm swing around here because it's going to get loud. And uh, so internally, you know, not only are we going to have a lot of uh, internal conflict, but also there's uh, all these people that have come into the country. I wonder how many of those are uh, elite uh, Iranian or uh, even uh, Russian Chinese uh, terrorist uh, groups that once the trigger is pulled, they're going to be blowing up our infrastructure all over the United States. So you see the, the pattern here, the intentional demolition of the United States. It's, uh, I tell you what, we got some, we got some tough times coming ahead. I'm going to make a second video to this, uh, which is, you know, it's just kind of a what I'm doing, because there's no way you can prepare for this. I mean, this, this is a well-planned demolition of the United States. And the sad thing is, is that the American people don't even see it coming. I, you know, I mean, I, and that's, that's why I have one friend, <laughs> you know, because, because I try to warn people, you know, and I try to, to and, and people just, oh, I can't hear it. I don't want to know. I don't want to, even the veterans organization that in my community, a bunch of useless old fools that uh, won't do anything to try to right the uh, the wrongs i mean right the ship here and try to turn things around i mean you know we've got the parallel economy coming there is hope uh, 
but it's going to be years down the road before we can well it's 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 i tell you what i i i don't know when 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 they blow up the infrastructure uh and, and that would be another thing is uh you know china planned this for many many years you know all of our manufacturing we don't manufacture anything anymore you know china did that intentionally and, uh, and when i say china did it uh, the the people that wanted to destroy the united states shipped all of our manufacturing over to uh, china so is china in charge of the united states right now i wonder i wonder because they and if the only way they can get complete control of the united states is to destroy it and man oh man they are doing one hell of a good job so just let me tell you what's coming you're going with opec uh, just lowering the uh, their oil output you know you're going to see well, I've been predicting this for a long time, and I've been wrong every single time. But I think you're going to see $6 a gallon or more. You're going to see the, con the dollar quickly. Now, I, I, I thought it would take a years before the dollar uh, really devalued, uh, it, you know, to, to where it, it's really not buying much of anything. You know, once China cuts off uh, the United States from all of its, well, if we do, you know, when we go to war, you won't be getting any goods from China. Where are you going to get your prescription drugs anymore? You think India is going to come step up to the plate and do it? No, India is in the BRICS. You've got Russia in the BRICS. You got China in the BRICS. You got Argentina, Brazil, Mexico. I, uh, you know, you name it. I, uh, the whole world is is basically against the United States at this point, by design, by design, and the American people are just going along with it blows my mind and the Congress I mean y you would think there'd be some voices in the Congress uh, oh I mean you've got but the things that they seem to be you know worried about which are good things to be worried about like Jim Jordan on his committee and whatnot but it, the big picture you know you've got Kevin McCarthy who's who, who's done some good things here recently he's you know thumping the war drum against China what does he think he's gonna fight China with you know when when we're not getting anything from China. You can't, you, we've cut off Russia. You got no oil. You got all of the fertilizer used to come out of Ukraine and Russia. You know, so, so the farmers are hurting. I mean, we got much bigger fish to fry here at the United States than him worrying about fighting China or us worried about fighting Russia in, in a proxy war in Ukraine. I, you know, that's it for this video. I just, uh, I mean, am I the only person that's seeing that this is intentional? I don't know, but let's get on to the second video, which talks about what I'm doing to prepare. And there's no way to prepare for this, not what's coming. But I can tell you, you know, at least do the best you can. That's the way I sleep at night. Yeah, you think, well, God, if you're worried about all these things, how do you sleep at night, man? And I say, well, you know, because every day I do as much as I can to prepare. Hence, I'm here at the Toyota dealer getting my car serviced one last time uh, because I got free service up until July and I, I've got to make a road trip here soon so I got wanted to get it done. Let's get on to the second video. Peace out, stay free. It's good, good, good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious. You can run on for a long time Run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.